Welcome back, fifth grade, to our lecture on the atom this morning. I'm going to keep on going and like you to take notes along with me. Well, we were talking earlier about the atom and what's in it, and you have this central region called the nucleus. And this is a fairly large region, but the electrons that are spinning around, some of them would be way, 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 way up here, clear into the hallway, if you can believe that. They'd be flying way out there. So I've, I can't really draw this to scale, but those electrons spinning around, like planets going around the sun in all kinds of directions, Okay, crossing in front of the nucleus, going behind the nucleus. This is our electron cloud, as I was saying. So one more time, I'm going to write that down. Electron cloud. All right, but let's take a closer look at what's in the nucleus. The first thing that you need to know that's in the nucleus is the atomic number. Atomic number. So for example, oxygen's atomic number is eight. What does that mean? And carbon's atomic number is six. What does that mean? That means inside the nucleus of various elements, the 92 elements, in oxygen, we'll call this one oxygen, there are going to be eight positively charged proton particles. And in carbon, there'd be six. Now, what if I added two protons to carbon? Well, that adds up two plus six is eight. Guess what? This is called the transmutation of elements. It's what alchemists were trying to do for thousands of years, changing base metals like lead into gold. Well, we really can do that. It takes a lot of energy, and it's very expensive to do, but we could turn lead into gold. We could also turn carbon into oxygen because once we change the number of protons, we've changed the identity. It is the identity is based on the number of protons. So gold, its identity, AU, its identity is 79. So let's change this to gold. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. 79. Ta-da! We now have gold. It is gold because it has 79. What if we took out, um, oh, let's say we added 3. Let's add 3. Let's add to 79, 80, 81, 82. Let's add 3. It's at three protons. It now has an atomic number of 82. Okay, now we go to our periodic table of the elements and we look up 82 and it's PB, plebeium. Again, that's a Latin word for lead. We have just turned gold into lead. I don't think that's something you want to do. Um, you probably want to take lead and turn it into gold. Okay, so let's take lead, L-E-A-D, 82, protons in the nucleus, right? And let's knock three out. Boom, boom, knock out two, down to 80, knock out three, and we're down to 79. And we have just changed lead into gold. Why am I talking about trying to change things into gold? Well. I'm trying to teach you actually is that the atomic number, whatever that number is, is the identity of the element. And so when you look at a periodic table of the elements, hydrogen has one. If it had two protons, it would no longer be hydrogen. It would be helium. If we take carbon and we add one more protein to it, it's no longer a black powder, but now it's the gas nitrogen that's in our atmosphere. So we have a tremendous amount of strange things going on here, but it's the atomic number that's the identity. And that's kind of what makes up the elements. 
Uh, in chemistry class, we'll talk more about electron clouds. Uh, tomorrow, I'll talk about molecules. Today, I just wanted you to understand what the elements are and how they got those numbers, those atomic numbers in the upper hand corner. All right, I hope that helps you. And um, if you have any questions about this lecture, just uh, give me a response to them. And uh, thank you very much for paying attention today. Bye now.